Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Brown Second. Today we're going to do an unboxing of this ESP Magfire Wusun Convention Phylum Kit, which I got for Christmas. Now, in case if you're wondering, I already opened this on Christmas Day, and that's why the tape is already cut. But if you look at the box, you can see it comes with him um, with an ESP um, Wusun um, Convention Phylum Panel. Six ESP smoke detectors with two manual call points and two bansies, including a battery. So, if I open the box here, and the first thing is there is some packaging here to put that in place or anything. Now, if you look in here, first thing you can see is an ultra seal battery. Well, 12 volt ultra so rechargeable battery for the panel. There is a bit of dust in there, the it looks a bit, but yeah, there's some protective wrapping. So, if I set that aside, you can see here all of these here are the smoke detectors. So, if I open this box, you can see one of them in here. And also comes with its fair on this cover. So now here it is. Now looking at this, is this actually a heat detector? Well, I didn't think it said it. Um, oh yes, yeah, so by looks if it comes with one heat detector I'm guessing. So there it is. So this is an ESP. FHD2 fixed heat detector. So there it is. Now, if you re look here, this is our optical smoke detector. So there it is. Now, there isn't much difference between the smoke detector and heat detector, except for that inside bit there. But overall, they do look the same. So, so, if you now, well, in the detector box itself, it also comes with instruction manual. So, yeah, remove it, you know. So, yeah. Now, the thing about these detectors, well, I never knew this, but um, these access the um, anti tamper proof base, and in here there will be a retail, but it's already broken off because when I put it on its base, I didn't realize it was a locking base. So, yeah. So you need a screwdriver with this tab to unlock it from space. So you essentially push it in here, then you can twist it off. So you know. And at the same time, this. So now, if you look in here, you can see that we have M2. ESP magfires, magfire, minor call points in the model number of them is SCP um, dash two R. See, so now we bring open of them. Now you can see call point it's still in here. Here it is. Now if you look in here, well, I already opened this one, but um, here you have your mounting screws inside the back box and in here you would also have your key which is this way here and you also have your um, instruction manual for the call point and the dimensions of it and how it works and how you would wire it up and such so yeah now if you look here, here it's its back box so you just essentially screw it onto the wall if you want to go back for here or the top for the way cutouts and just have it about it like this so yeah so now if we look at the call point itself now i do quite like these call points and the way you would push and the way you activate them is you sort of push down give like that and you get this way pattern here and that was activated now the way you would reset these is if you look at the key with my lights on, there we go. You can see that the key says up. 
So since you put the key in here, then push it up. It should reset the call point, just like that. Now if you look at the key, <clears throat> you also have three, you have the three parts in you, which, might, which lines up with the holes on top of the call point. So if you push the key in there, it should come off. Just like that. No, I didn't mean to fling it off that all, but if you look here, you can see that the spring mechanism pushed it down. Well, now I've never seen that safety east before, but if you look here, you can see, yeah, if I'm, you can see the circuitry in the background there. There's a spring which spring with the resettable element and there's your LED. If you look here, you also have your cover. So now if I can put this back on, just like that. Now it seems like when you take the cover off, it activates, so you just press it up back up, just like that. See? So now we're going to have a look at the fancy sounders we have in here as well. So, so now if we look in here, we can see we have a red Banshee XL sounder um, with the model number BA2R. So, if we open it, we can see we have our Banshee. You can see it in there. So, you see a remounting bracket for it with the re So, which also has the re cut out so whatever way you can poke out to mount it. And this is where you always feed your wires through. So now we can do. So now we're going to have a look at the sounder. So here it is. Now it looks like there's some. Well, it's hard to pick up, but there's some scuff marks there for some reason. Probably when they're putting it in the box, but you can see the sounder there. Now if you look at the back, um, you can see a terminal so you wire it up and. Over the different tones you can select. There's some information for it there. Now if you look here, there's a screw. And I'm presuming that's to lock the base, but I'm not sure how you would lock it with a screw. It's probably for something else. Because if you look at the what my Wussany sound is, which I have here, you can see that on its base, it has a screw. Which, which essentially locks it on, kind of like that. Well, this doesn't have any, but has the same type of screw on the inside. So I'm not too sure what that would be useful to. So, but the thing you look at the box, we also have the extraction value for it. So there it is. So it says, how is it in based on OCD? And essentially, um, so it's essentially a mixed structure menu, and there's one for a saddle base now. Look at the diagram, so we see that there's a screw holder. But if I look at the law, there's a really any which point case you have to poke it out through here actually, so, so you can see. And, and so, it's how you would Hawaii with the nose row. And so in here it shows you all the different cells can help it. See. So now if I once I tidy this up we can have a look at the panel which is at the bottom of the box here. So we'll be back in a second. But before we actually take the panel out, I am going to do a sound demo with the banshee. So I'm going to get it wired up now. So now I have um, two wires that to positive and negative. So now we're going to have a sound demo. So now I believe this is set on fast sweep, so we're going to set it off now on 3, 2, 1. So there we go. And as you can tell, it is quite loud. So now we're going to have we look at the panel at the bottom of the box so we'll be back in a second so now if everything cleared out of the way I'm going to remove the panel 
coming from the box. No, once we get this box over me. Just like that. Yeah, if you look at the panel, now as you can see on the box, it says um, ESP Mark 555 control um, panel uh, and model number mag 4 p So I guess it would stand for full for soon. So if you look here, so we spot open it. So now we can see there it is. Now it's in some protective wrapping. It might look for the buttons to work. So if I carefully flip the box so if I can to be able to pan out. Just like that. And it says here it's made in Bulgaria. So if I move this in the way, you can see there's already some pre-made um, holes. So also first thing we have here is um ESP fire control panel MAG2 slash G4. Uh, using my version 4, it says it gives you all of the instructions and in how the panel works and says about keys, cable ties, and such. So, once we get that out, we can take the panel out of the box or out of the wrapping, I should say. Now, there it is. Now this is brand new, as you can see. And honestly, you can see ESP Mark 5 and control panel. And there's the back. So now we're going to carefully move this cover. And so there it is. And if I move this over the side, you can see it comes with some keys and um, some wires with some the end of line with the stern fuse. So if you look in here, you can see this is where you connect your battery and such. And then here is where you and then here is your transformer on this cover. So if you get that back on you can see that we we connect your mains now. And that's the main panel part itself. Now one thing I didn't realise is, but when the cover is on, it shows this part, but then um, once it's off, there's a couple more LEDs to show you all of the faults, like for example, earth, AC, or battery low, and such. And there's here things like fire general fault, sounder faults as disablement, and enable, disable, test, and power supply. And there's all of your different buttons like silence buzzer, silence alarm, enable, disable, test screw, or reset and sound all. So now if I get tripod back up, we will be able to see what's in our bag. So if you look here, we have our keys and some plugs to plug up the holes. Now if you look here you can see our key which will go here just like that to enable the panel with the same wood. See? So if you get that back in there. Now you can see here is a slot where you put your battery. So and there's some and there's your circuitry back there. And if you look at the back of the panel there's some mounting points as well, like here, where you can hang it up or screw it onto the wall. So, yeah. And if you look here, you can see there's also your terminals where you would wire up all of your devices to. So, now, uh, going back in a second. So, if you look here now, I didn't realize, but you can actually pop this off while well, being careful at the same time. That would give you some space to insert your battery. So since you'll go in just like that. And these are your cables where you would connect your battery up to. See? So, yeah. Now just as a quick test, we're going to um, plug the battery in for a short minute to test if the panel works or not. So as you can see it does work. 
and if I insert my key, it's probably going to have power fault since it's only on the battery. So there you go. So general fault. No battery. Let me see. So it's just on the battery right now. So. Now this is just a quick test, but it's working. Now if you go here, you can sound on. So now you can see alarm's activated. Now if we silence alarm. Now we can reset. So there you go. You can see all of the full sounds there, but up as well. So now we disconnect the battery. So hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button, and make sure and stay tuned for the system test in the near future of this panel. Bye.